Hi everyone, so very 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 quick update today on the 60mm Hudson Hunslet build. Um, I'm currently in the process of reprinting some of the parts. Um, so I've got reprinted the back of the, well the control panels on the back of the engine bay. Um, this one as you can see now is, is straight and flat. Um, so that can go um, onto the model at some point. I'm going to obviously reprint a number of other pieces including the the whole um, foot plate if you remember the current version is the one that I cracked um, plus as we discussed last time it's missing some pieces and, and things so I'm gonna basically go through a period of reprinting uh, lots of stuff so there probably won't be anything to talk about for at least a, a few days um, but um, I've done a tiny bit of work um, so um, as you remember we need a, a grill for the front um, and literally I just did this with scissors uh, there's nothing complicated here at all um, so I I cut it across the top um, taped it in place with some with some masking tape at the top and then used scissors to kind of cut down either side and across the bottom uh, and then I just marked very carefully well not, not that carefully uh, marked with um, a permanent marker where I thought the cutout holes should be on the bottom uh, and then cut that with some scissors it's it's pretty accurate um, I'm pretty happy with that as I say, um, this brass mesh isn't ideal. Um, I'd probably like it to be steel um, or aluminium, um, something silvery anyway, so that I could, um, I wouldn't necessarily have to paint it, I could just weather it, because otherwise this, I'm gonna have to paint to look like steel, um, and then if it gets any wear on it and the brass starts showing through, it's gonna be the wrong, the wrong color. So I might need to find um, some replacement mesh, but at least, you know, quick trial proves that that works and looks looks reasonable to my eye um, as I say on the prototype I think it's actually got a, a kind of wire surround um, that the, the, the mesh is kind of bent round uh, but at this scale that's going to be almost in, impossible to do um, if I can find it I did try I had a bit of a try um, to do that so this you can tell has a I, I took some um, enameled wire made it to the right shape and then tried to glue the mesh on and then bend it round and the whole thing is just a mess it's not the it's not the right shape um, the glue gets everywhere and fills in the mesh when it shouldn't so that's just rubbish um, but this I think you know certainly when painted and glued in place um, I think will look will look apart from something from any kind of sensible viewing distance um, so yeah there we go that's the that's the update for today. Well, the the printer works for all the other parts before I um, try doing another uh, another assembly.